So here is the garlic that I've pulled out of the ground. It does not look great. It's in a wire basket right now. These are a few other things that Huckleberry and I grabbed from the garden as well. And uh, it's not much, but these apples are just laying on the ground. And um, if the groundhog, who is looking really plump, <laughs> doesn't get them first, I picked them up and they're not in perfect condition. They're not like buying them from a store. But uh, I have two apple trees that were here when we moved in. The house is over 200 years old, and this is definitely Apple Town where I live in New Hampshire. Um, I pick them up, I chop off whatever's bad, and by the end of the season, I will definitely have enough to make the year's applesauce, which I used to cook a lot of baked goods and stuff. And this is the last of the blueberries. So sad to see them go because they're so good for you. And my blueberry bushes are babies, so I really like the ones I picked out. They're already producing pretty well and I'm gonna be very happy I'm sure in a few years if I can just keep the deer from eating them so there's the garlic and like I said it doesn't look good um, what I'm gonna do uh, because it is late ordinarily you can braid them and make them look all fancy and stuff I'm just gonna get them out to uh, be washed and dry in the Sun here's the results of my clean off and crafters I know these are not gorgeous pictures but Hence the name Huckleberry Herbs and Art. Couldn't figure out another way to uh, glue the fact that one minute my hand's in lace and the next minute it's in dirt together. Except through the name Huckleberry, which is, I thought, a great name. Because, you know, first of all, it's our dog's name. And it's from uh, a great character in um, Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn's adventures, right? And um, Huckleberry is actually a bush or a berry. And um, I should say more like a tree, but at any rate, um, Huckleberry Herbs and Art, because uh, I really do get into gardening and flowers and art of all kinds. And this is my garlic for the year. Now, it's not great, it's not huge, but I'll tell you what, I put a bulb a little bit larger than this one. And no, you don't have to clean them off perfectly, okay, because this is gonna sit in the sun the dirt that's left will turn practically to dust and just brush off. And yes, it is a bit of a pain in the neck, but I will sit down one day um, for an hour or so and I will clean up all these bulbs at the same time and some of them will get chopped very finely and put in a jar in the fridge to cook with. Some of them, the biggest, nicest ones, will be put aside to use as just fresh garlic and grab before I use up the fridge stuff and some of it will be sliced really thinly and put into my dehydrator and I will make garlic powder and if you've never had homemade garlic powder oh my goodness I don't know what they do to the stuff in the store but it's a completely different animal or vegetable <laughs> so this is um, this is going to sit on this little rack out in the sun to dry for at least a few days a week or so I won't worry if it rains, it'll dry out. And I do have um, a few little bits and pieces that fell apart while I was cleaning and those are in the basket. Those will sit out and dry as well. And that's enough garlic for my husband and I for probably it well into the winter. Um, and it started with just two about that size. From the grocery store. Now I've done it with uh, garlic that I've purchased specifically to plant and I really didn't get that much but I'll tell you what the grocery store gave me about a third more than I got last year from the ones I used from uh, gardening supply places so yes you can just take a nice garlic th from the grocery store in New England we plant them in October and you harvest them in late spring and um, all of these little bulbets I, they're all usable as well I didn't get to those see I didn't get to tend to things like this by pulling those off the bulb would have been larger so there's my big garlic share sure, sorry it doesn't look pretty 
but I'm excited because it's definitely not been covered in fertilizer and that's another reason why they may not be huge because I try to garden organically and uh, I don't add anything to anything that doesn't come from something that that lives <laughs> so no synthetic anything pretty good for just a couple of bulbs from the grocery store in uh, October I think well maybe the next pictures will be pretty I'm working on some uh, coloring pencils with watercolor pencils uh, maybe I'll get a chance to share that. Till next time, everybody. This is Kathy from Huckleberry Herbs and Art. God bless.